Right, welcome to building your campaigns on Facebook ads. And the first lesson in this chapter is setting up your business manager. We're getting right into the nitty gritty now, and then we'll jump back and walk you through the process of creating an ad as well. By the end of this lesson, you'll know what a business manager is for, have set up your business manager account and have set up your advertiser account on Facebook. You'll have progressed further than 95% of businesses who use social media as a marketing tool, and I'm not even lying there. The fact you're even on here and you understand that you need to be advertising puts you ahead of most people in your industry. First up, it's please stop pressing that fucking boost post button. You need to stop pressing that button now. It's very tempting, Facebook makes it ever so alluring to come in and press that button, but you need to stop. Why do you need to stop pressing that boost post button? For a lot of reasons, but essentially this is Facebook trying to do a short term cash grab for an immediate dopamine hit of engagement, but not critical engagement that drives your revenue and grows your business. No, just likes and impressions. You can't choose where on Facebook ads advertising network your actual ad gets seen. You can't specify the different placements, which you'll learn more about later. You can't perform A-B tests to find out truths and validate your theories around what will work best. You're just relying on that post you did at that point in time. You can't use some of the more detailed audience tar targeting capabilities that you can in Advertising Manager. You can't exclude certain audiences or individuals you don't want to show the ad to. And you can't create different bespoke ad formats for the same campaign. Like you might want the same campaign, but you want to show a story ad on a story placement. So it's bespoke for nine by 16. But the most important thing is your ad will always be optimized. Whatever they tell you will be optimized for engagement, not traffic leads or sales. You're basically hugely underutilizing what you can do with the advertising manager and you just need to stop pressing that button. You're here because you want to do it properly. Like I'm already, I'm already um, preaching to the choir, as it were. Just as a metaphor for this, it's like going into a battle or a war with a plastic spoon when there's a tank on offer. Okay, that's what you're doing when you're going out there pressing boost post, and it's just, it's just pissing away your money. You're wasting your money every time you hit that boost post. Do it properly, get proper results. So, what what is Facebook Business Manager or Facebook Business Suite? Okay, recently rebranded, but still called a Business Manager. Essentially, it's the platform and advertising tool to use when creating effective social media advertising campaigns across Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, and WhatsApp. So, how do you set up or find out if you've already have it? Okay, all you need to do is you can pause this right now. Go to business.facebook.com and all the first results, even if you Google that, will be Facebook related. And then I want you to go to click create account, you need to enter a name for your business, select the primary page and enter your name and work email and other details, and then move through the rest of the onboarding, which is pretty simple by filling in the rest of the required fields, okay? I, I think you can cope with that. And I'm just gonna walk you through as well. Like This is what you'll see on the screen. On business.facebook.com it'll prompt you to this screen and you'll see create account if not you'll automatically get logged in then it'll prompt you if you to create an account you create your business manager account you can see I've used uh, Bob's Burgers reference I drop all the time um, type in your business account name your name business email add your business details so to the country you're in address this is all about like proof of ownership and just authentic basically authenticating the businesses joining it and it's basically to crack down on false advertisers and ensuring that you're a real business okay there won't be like any stringent checks right now it's just to have a collection of data um, and also if you have a website enter the website here you can basically select if it's going to promote your own goods or services which most of you will be doing or if you're going to provide service to other business such as if you're an agency like me so then you'll be prompted into this three step, basically in a form, is you're gonna add page to Business Manager. If you click add page here, it should link up to any Facebook pages you are a current admin for or current employee level, okay? And you can claim that the Business Manager. It might prompt you that someone else has already set up a Business Manager for that page, okay? If that's the case, 
and find out who's done that. Um, then it should prompt you to add an ad account to Business Manager. And then you're probably going to have to create a new ad account. So you click this button on the right here. If you already have an advertiser account, which might happen if you've pressed boost post a couple of times, you might be able to add one. However, we recommend creating a new ad account because a personal ad account has has less features and it can transfer less data between different um, employers and business managers. Had a lot of times where we've been stuck with trying to transfer assets from personal ad accounts to uh, business ad accounts. And then who will this account be used for? Always just put my business in there, okay? And this is just to retrace the setup and have a Okay, and if when you went through those stages on Business Manager, you didn't get prompted to set up an ad account, what you need to do is go to Business Settings. It's in the menu on the left-hand side, and I'll show you that in a second. Click Accounts and click Add Accounts, and then 1D, and then click Add, 2D's Add, and choose an ad account out of the options available or create a new one. The advertising account is the account you'll actually be cr running the advertising campaigns out of, and it's owned by you and your business, not an individual, and it makes your business growth more scalable. When you're boosting posts, etc., it's always come from an individual. And a quick note here, there's a lot of cowboys in the social media advertising agency world. Don't ever let an agency control your advertising accounts, and they should be a partner of your ad accounts and assets. Otherwise, they control it, they can kick you out. They hold the data, and you don't want that, you want to hold the data, be in control of your advertising account. So the homework here is do do what we just went through, essentially, do what we just went through, simple homework. Um, if you're having trouble or you're hitting any errors or really stuck, that's what the Facebook group's there for. We'll endeavor to answer you as quickly as possible and help you get over that hurdle. Normally it's just about finding where the button is, but if you're brand new to this, it's fairly logical to move through the steps. Thank you, see you next time. Welcome to lesson two in building your campaigns on Facebook ads. By the end of this lesson, you'll understand how to navigate Business Manager, know where the individual tools and assets are for future use, be ready to construct an ad campaign properly. So the key here into understanding the Business Manager and the business settings behind it is on the left hand side, you'll basically see a menu with business settings on, okay? And if I just jump in, if you go to this business tools on the top left here, and then you want to go to business settings, which is the cog icon from the menu on the top left. I'm just using a dummy one here as an example. Now, you can see there's a lot of things on the left hand side here, and we're going to focus on what matters most right now. As I mentioned here, the priorities here are the people, who has access to your account? The ad accounts that are connected to the account because this is one you probably want to keep accessing and so will people. The data sources, which is where the Facebook pixel comes into play, more of which on later. And the payment methods, which is important. One, basically get your ads up and running, but two, because you'll need invoices, etc., for your accountants and bookkeeping. What well, I've got a secondary um, in terms of knowing where it is, is partners. If you choose to work with an agency, this is where you can add them as business manager partners. The pages, the Facebook pages, which are tied to your business manager. The Instagram accounts as well, which is tied to your business manager. And if you have a WhatsApp for business, you can also connect that. And the integrations, which if you're running leads ads, this is where you can hook it up to say your email marketing software, your CRM system, and also some other automations as well. This is where you can hook it up to say your email marketing software, your CRM system, and also some other automations as well. As you can see, look, people, I'm on James Green here, and I can add different assets to James. At the minute, there's nothing in here. But should I want to, look, you click on it, and you go manage page. That's how you can give anyone access to the different things, but you'll need to create the ad accounts, catalogs, pixels, etc. You can have different levels of access for different levels of employees if you need to. And again, here where I mentioned partners, this is where you can do a partner share an asset with. They'll have an individual ID. If you, I ever need to look into your ad account in case you want some help with fixing something or viewing over something or we do a one-on-one, -on -one, you'll be adding me um, and my agency's ID so we can view your ad manager. So right, here in terms of the accounts, this is key. Pages. P 
page to add a page. You can add a page and it will automatically basically see which pages you're currently now going to. I'm going to add them into a lot because we've got multiple different clients. I've done coaching with multiple different um, businesses as well. You can request access to a page and also you can just literally create a new page right from Business Manager here and there. Ad accounts, right? Here, we need to create a new ad account. Ad account name, tester one, and very key here, please remember to change your time zones to where you're advertising from, which is a nightmare if you're setting things up for certain times, because it's easy to just press continue on this bit and it will, it will annoy you, it will annoy you for a long time. And also into your currency of preference. Because again, it will annoy you and off the top of your head, you need to know these numbers. There. So if your business manager in the last video didn't prompt you to create an account, this way you can do it and you can add the people and set permissions. Great, what it's doing now is it's adding me to, it's prompting me to add payment info. So if you see this like I have, go ahead and do it. So. Instagram accounts. Same here, you should be able to add an Instagram account and it will ask you to connect and enter the login details for that Instagram account. Go through and do that. Data sources. So what we're gonna set up here at the moment is pixels. Gonna create a pixel and you can enter in your website for easy options in terms of setup if you're with a company like Shopify, Squarespace, etc. But we'll come on to the pixel later. If you've got a shopping catalog with a uh, e-commerce site like Shopify as well, you can add that through here, although Shopify will have an integration that helps you do that. Where else am I going? Integrations, leads access. You can basically customize access and each different CRM platform, email marketing platform, will have different keys and different guides depending on what you're using to basically give them access. And this will really mean it's around which people and which third party software can see your leads automatically. So you don't have to like get a lead for a lead gen ad and then manually copy the details or export the data. And again, saving time through automation is valuable to you. And then here's the payment methods. Add a payment method. We recommend adding more than one payment method because you could have a PayPal, debit card, credit card, especially as a new advertiser, because what you want is Facebook to trust you and you don't want that immediate black spot against your advertising account because one of the payment methods hasn't trusted it straight away. You know what it's like when you have a new payment go through certain banks and certain accounts, it can be difficult. Normally we find that PayPal gets approved straight away without questions. Um, you might have to verify and manually approve it on different bank accounts. And then people say, I don't know if it's 100% true or not, but if you're advertising with a credit card versus pay PayPal, um, Facebook will favor you ever so slightly when you're bidding for auctions, but realistically it's not gonna matter too much unless you're spending hundreds of thousands of pounds a day with that micro little addition. You're better off creating a better ad. Okay, so that is where you need to know in terms of the Facebook business manager. Good work. Go through and do what I just did. Add your payment methods, add any other people or staff to your accounts necessary. necessary. Oh, and ensure your account assets are actually connected to each other. So here I am, here I am on my pixel. And what I want to do is connect my ad account to my pixel. So you see here, there's connected assets. You can add assets or you can add assets there. And boom. Sometimes it might say there's an error and it'll actually go through, but keep trying. Look, it's, it's connected now. Facebook Business Manager has a weird thing of throwing up errors when there are actually no errors. Make sure as well on your pixel, you're adding your staff and the people you want to manage the account. This is the same as if you're adding partners, you want to make sure if you're adding an agency partner, they've got access to everything they need. You'll need to go through and do this for pages, ad accounts, Instagram accounts, pixels, etc., and payment methods if, if you need them to be editing the payment method.